And now, ladies and gentlemen, Brett James, who's doing his 10th, which is congratulations, Brett. And his topic is Memory Worth a Thousand Pictures. Brett. One hundred and twelve. That's the amount of pictures added to the photography website in one second. If you were to take the amount of pictures added to Flickr in every minute and play them as a movie, you would already be four minutes behind by the time you press the play button. <laughs> it is said that a picture is worth a thousand words. And I feel that this is important because you can convey so much with a picture, the time of the day, very dark here at the moment, where it is, textures and interpretations can come alive depending on how you frame and take it. Toastmasters and guests, I would like to expand on this further and take it a step above. And I would like to say that a memory is worth a thousand pictures. The memory that you have, it's the most important thing to you. Now, a memory, it doesn't care if the moment is serious or if it's funny or random, but it can define you. We share memories through the eyes of others through their photos and they share with us their emotions and the good and bad sides of life. A photograph of a family reunion. Everyone's there from grandmother to baby. All of them are there, not necessarily standing, but they're there. Together, through adversity, pain and joy, they've made it. Pictures from wars from before we were born give us wisdom to comprehend the freedom of choice. We have seen worlds with atmospheres that we could not survive in. It gives us inspiration to look inside ourselves to reach for the stars, both metaphorically and literally. There are bad sides to this, however. I'll see a tourist walk up to a landmark and they'll be very engrossed with their group taking pictures. However, they'll be stuck behind it, battling with the settings and blinding the guests with a flash. The problem I feel with this is that they are not, they're not there for the moment. They're not enjoying the journey that took them to get them there, right here, right now. In my opinion, I feel that they need to take it all in. Life really goes how you expect it to. During last year, within a short space of time, I lost two very dear friends, Jordan Penprose, a military accident and a failure of the military system. Patrick Oakes to cancer. And with them, I would always spend many hours sharing stories playing games together, having a laugh. They were much better than me playing computer games. So when we played them, they'd usually have a laugh while beating me at them ferociously. So, above all, we understood each other. And to know that I can't do that anymore with them, it, it hurts and I, I miss them a lot. I've seen death and it ain't pretty. Leading up to the funeral, I would, feeling lost and confused, I would take all of, gather together all the photos that I've taken. And I would remember the times that, where we were smiling, videos of events that we're at, through photos. It helped me to see them, but more than that, it helped their families to, a lot of them, they'd have, it was the first time they'd seen the photos. In times of grief and sadness, it helps you to remember the good times. Another way to put it is that any pain can be made fleeting and momentary, but joy 
and joy can be recalled any time. With that in mind, often when I go to events, I will volunteer as the photographer for them. I love unique people. And when I can find a special interest group like Toastmasters that I really click with, that you gel and can get along with them, it feels like it really opens a doorway to your heart and soul for learning of all kinds. And I also like learning about the unsung heroes, the people who help organise and run the event. These people will put a lot of time behind the scenes. Often it might not be recognised that much. And I feel that it is those people that deserve to be appreciated as well. They deserve to be remembered. And my favourite photos, when I look back at them usually, are the unrehearsed ones, the random ones. Not the, the all stand up in line in group photos. No, it's the one where you're out in the dinner room, you're having a laugh and everyone's all having, you know, talking about what happened on the weekend. To capture a photo of that time, it feels like I've I've captured a memory that would otherwise be easily lost or forgotten. And from memory to memory, you and everyone else is a unique person. And you have people around you as well to call you many things. Hopefully not late to dinner, but other than that, a friend. Someone to call and share your exciting news with. A shoulder to cry on. And friends. I feel friends are the people that you should surround yourself with. Oh, not money. I honestly, I don't have time to be around people who are negative and hurtful to people like others or myself. No. To me, I feel that I have a duty to be the best that I can be every step of the way, and so should you be. And when you, I will, I will see people who, at events, I'll ask to not have a photo taken of them, and I'll respect that. A photograph to a person is a very unique thing and everyone has their own way to process them. What I don't like, however, is that if you're at that event, you're trying to get a random photo and they're in the way of them. And at the time, it may seem insignificant to get a photo of people laughing, but however, later on, you could be giving someone the greatest gift of all, a smile, a memory, I want to capture memories. Now I'm having a birthday this year with a three in it. And you can bet that I'm going to have take plenty of photos there. And I'm also going to have plenty of photos taken of me. And I will have people, sometimes jokingly or otherwise, tell me that I'm getting old. Well, I think of my friends that are not here with me anymore. And I tell them that do not regret growing older. It is a privilege denied to many. And I feel that rings very true. During this speech, I've spoken, I've taken around 12 and a half thousand images in recording a video. To me, I feel that this is a memorable moment. However, this isn't really about me at all. It's about you and how you share your thoughts and memories with your friends. Like photographs, memories can fade. And the memories that you hold on define you. So why not show people how much of an important and interesting person you are by holding on to the most vivid and memorable memories that you have? I say, let us all be interesting. Let us be memorable. Toastmaster Rowe.